Their skin is literally as fragile as a butterfly wing. They tell you not to touch a butterfly because, you know, once you touch their wing, it pretty much breaks. And the same concept with EB kids. EB stands for epidermolysis bullosa. It's a very rare genetic skin disorder. First thing they tell you at the hospital when your son or child is diagnosed with epidermolysis bullosa is your child will not make it to a year old, if they even make it uh, through a couple weeks. When Hayden was born, he had um, some skin missing on his hand um, and his foot, once they did the little stimulation to his foot, um, and they suctioned out his mouth and uh, they took the skin off his lips, the roof of his mouth and his tongue. And at that moment they knew something was wrong. Most, you know, moms, they're, they're there to be able to soothe their child and help them in their moment of need and be able to make the pain go away. And in my case, I pretty much just got to breathe and bite my tongue a lot. and. Once it's all said and done, then I know we helped him and we didn't, you know, we didn't purposely hurt him. We're just trying to make it to where he lives t to see another day. I always ask myself, you know, why me? Why does my son have to go through this? Why did this happen to me? But I always tell myself that little boy, I, I have to give him the life that any other kid would deserve. We are going to try and let him live a normal life and not be secluded out due to his skin. Do you want to put it on Mickey? My turn. Good. Next. It's really rough to swallow knowing that we could wake up tomorrow and my son not be here. Um, he may not make it to his second birthday. We may not be able to see him start school or be able to try to drive or even graduate high school. And it's, it's very hard to take that in and realize that, but I know as long as I am giving him the life that he deserves and the help he needs, I'm good. I know I did my job right, even though we may not be able to see things, you know, in the future. Don't feel sorry for me. There's a reason I am in this position in life. I have this child of mine that's precious and I don't want people to ever feel sorry for me or my family at all. No matter what, God gave me this baby for a reason. It, it, either to make my marriage stronger, to make me stronger, to show that I can overcome anything in this world throws at me. He has his moments, but I tell you what, no child in that position is weak at all.